Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Don. After natin matutunan yung addition of integers, I will also teach you on how to subtract integers. So don't worry because in this topic or in this video, somehow yung learning nyo about addition of integers is mga gamit nyo rin. Kasi yung rules of integers ay kailangan or necessity in subtracting integers. Again, if bago ka sa YouTube channel ko, don't forget to like and subscribe para updated ka sa aking mga latest uploads. Again, I'm Teacher Gon. Salamat! Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In our today's video, we will do subtracting integers. I hope na before natin puntahan itong topic na to, ay napanood nyo na yung topic natin or yung video tutorial natin about adding integers. Now, what is the importance? Bakit ko sinasabi na kailangan yung mapanood yung video natin about adding integers? Because yung process nun ay magamit natin sa pag subtract ng integers. And bibigyan ko ng two simple steps on how to subtract integers. Number one, change the operation. Number two, change the sign. So let's have an example para ma-visualize nyo or kung paano nyo gawin yung ating process. So let's say I have 10 minus negative 5. So as you can see, we have 10 minus negative 5. So the first step is to change the operation. Ang gagawin mo lang, copy mo to, yung 10, and then yung symbol mo or yung operation mong subtraction na gagawin mong addition. That is the first step. And the second step, change the sign of your subtrahend. Yung negative 5 natin, since that is negative, gawin mo siyang positive. So magiging 5 na lang siya, positive 5. And then kung mapansin nyo, you have 10 plus 5, and the answer there is 15. Tama po ba? Okay. Now, mag-try naman tayo sa pang example. Let's erase this one. Okay. Let's say I have negative 9 minus negative 7. So let's start with this. You have negative 9. Copy me yung first na meron ka. You have to copy 9. And then sabi sa first step natin, you need to change the operation. If that is subtraction, gabi mo siyang addition. Tapos, yung sign naman ng iyong subtrend, kung siya negative, gagawin mo siyang positive. So, that will be negative 9 plus positive 7 or 7. And then, kung mapansin nyo, addition na siya. Saan ka na tayo papasok ngayon sa process natin kung paano mag-add ng integers? Remember, kailangan mong kunin yung absolute value, which is 9. And then, plus, absolute value rin ito, which is 7. Tapos, kung mapansin nyo, you have 9 plus 7, that will give you 16. Ngayon, may 16 ka ngayon. Paano ka ngayon magde-decide kung ano yung sign ng iyong final answer? Puntahan mo ngayon yung number na may pinakamalaking absolute value, which is 9. Or negative 9. So, copy the sign of negative 9. And that is negative. So, that will become negative 16. So, let me give you another example para mas lalo niyo matutunan na how to do it. Okay? So, let's try having negative 25 minus 16. Okay? So, copy the first number or your minuend. That will give you negative 25. Wala tayong babaguhin eh, sa menu end. And then, this operation, gagawin mo siyang addition. And then, as you can see, yung 16 natin, the sign is positive. So, you need to follow the rule. Change the sign. So, from positive, it will become negative 16. And then, proceed tayo sa ating addition. Kung yung absolute value, which is 25, and the absolute value ng six, negative 16 is 16. Then add them. The answer is 20 plus 10. That will give you 35 plus 6, 11. So you have 41. Okay? And then, since you have 41, sabi sa rule natin sa addition, keep the sign. Since parehas lang negative, your sign is just negative. So that's it. The answer is negative 41. So I hope nasa tatlong examples natin, 
you're all ready to do an activity with regards to subtracting integers. So let's move on. So I have here two examples or two item activity para may execute natin yung ginawa natin kanina ng process. So I will give, you can stop the video and pause nyo muna para kayo mismo gumawa sa sarili nyo. And then after that, let's see kung parehas tayo na magiging sagot. Okay? Okay, let's do the process. So we have here, you need to copy negative 12 as your menu end and then your operation, change it to addition. At yung sign ng iyong negative 11, babaguhin mo syempre, it will become positive 11 or 11. Then proceed to addition. So dito, kopyahin mo yung kanyang... Ah, sorry. Uh, kunin mo yung kanyang... Kunin mo yung kanyang absolute value, that is 12. And then yung absolute value ng 11, which is 11. Tapos i-add mo sila. That will give you... Thir ah, sorry. That is 23. So, meron ka ngayon 23. Isipin mo ngayon, paano mo ngayon, yung, paano ngayon yung sign niya? Puntahan mo yung number na may mas mataas na absolute value. And then look at the sign of that number, which is negative. So, the sign of 23 is negative. The answer in number 1 is negative 23. Now, let's move on to item number 12. You have negative 14 minus 8. Copy your minuend negative 14. Change this operation to addition and then since ito ay positive, it will become negative. Get the absolute value that is 14. The absolute value of this one is 8 and then add them. That will give you 22. So, paano ngayon ang sign? As you can see, para silang negative. Therefore, the sign of your final answer is negative 22. So that's it. And then, as you, go, as you go along with the operations on integers, addition and subtracting, subtracting integers, makita nyo na may mas madaling way. Itong pinapakita ko ngayon sa ating video is yung step-by-step -step process on how to do subtracting integers para mas master nyo yung mismong konsepto. So again, sana nakatulong ako sa inyong pag-master ng subtracting integers. At kung bago ka lang sa channel ko, don't forget to like this video and subscribe ka na rin para updated ka sa ating future uploads. Again, I am Teacher Gon. Maraming salamat!